Howdy friends, this is Steve DePoe with the Rose Realty Team and this is Focus on Small Business. Before we get started, we ask you to go to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Let's Do Real Estate Texas. There's no charge, but you will be alerted to updates and changes to our series Spotlight on Community, Focus on Small Business, and of course, our weekly real estate updates on North Texas. Thank you. Let's get started. Howdy friends, Steve DePoe here at the Rose Realty Team with this installment of Focus on Small Business. Today I'm here with Angie Cox with Allegiance Title. Angie, talk to me a little bit about Allegiance Title. Okay, well Steve, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Allegiance Title is locally owned and operated, but actually as of January 1, we're now part of a big parent company called All First, which means we can now issue insurance in Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arkansas. We have over 20 offices in the Metroplex as well as San Antonio and Houston. Very nice, very nice. Uh, what's the difference necessarily between different title companies, between you and the people across the street? Yeah, so the great thing is there is no difference. It's the people. The people make the difference of the company. We're all regulated by the state, so we all charge the same fee. The only fee that varies is our escrow fee, which mm. is what we charge to handle the transaction, and it's about a $100 swing between the title companies. Between title companies, interesting. So here's a, here's a question for you. I mean, so I've got a buyer and we go into a, to a property and the listing agent says, we're gonna use this title company. But my clients are paying the title insurance. I mean, as an agent, should I insist that we use, use you as opposed to a different title company? Well, it, it's definitely, it could be either or. The contract mm -hmm. can it has the boxes on there that states buyer or seller choice. Right. They do say, though, it is the buyer's policy that's in the end. Mm -hmm. However, you know, it's who's going to pay for the policy. So I guess that kind of dictates Maybe where, who, where you're going. Where I'm going to go. Yes. Interest, interesting. <laughs> what are some of the issues we're facing today in 2022 compared to things we faced in 2019? I mean, we all lived through COVID kind of the slowdown, and we've, we've kind of experienced a different environment today than we did back then. Um, thing, uh, things are much more ramped up in terms of values, uh, housing values. What are some of the things that we're facing today? So some of the things we're seeing, you know, here at the title company are, we're seeing one, we're seeing cash offers, and then midstream that same offer turns into a purchase offer, so the buyer can get the offer. Normally those close on time, generally, but we've had some appraisal issues. So there have been some delays in that. So that could be potentially a problem. So sure. So if I'm if I've got a cash all cash offer that changes into a mortgage, then the the mortgage company or the lender then gets involved and there's appraisals that are involved in those types of things. Which has changed what originally was written on the contract. Sure. So you know that kind of can create some angst for a seller if they are moving or have made plans pertaining to that original contract date. Sure. Sure. And how about prices? I mean, um, you mentioned a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars difference in escrow fees, but are, are but are, but are all title um, policies the same yes. for a specific property? All the same between you guys, the people down the block, etc. Yes, it's all based on your sales price, and the state board of insurance dictates like what that amount is per the sales price of the property. So it's regulated by the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. And. Um, um, Talk to me a little bit about timing. I mean, how long does it take from the time we decide, we get a get a signed and executed contract to the time we've got a, a client sitting here at this desk here, um, you know, signing for the house? Well, we've done cash offers in a week, so it, it is possible as long as there's no issues or anything challenging on the title work. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, with a lender involved, it's about. 20 days. 20 days, 20 days. And, and talk to me about what, what title insurance does for me. I mean, so I've got a client who's paid for a homeowner's warranty, who's paid um, home, homeowner's insurance. Why did, what does the title insurance actually do for me? Yeah, so this type of insurance basically researches the property. So we research to make sure there's no judgments, there's no liens, anything that would affect or be against the property. You know, IRS tax liens, mechanics mm. liens, like you've hired a contractor and not paid them for services. We take care of all that prior to closing. And if anything would come about, 
you're protected for the life that you own the pol uh, property. Very good. Has forbearance, uh, this forbearance system that they put in place, I guess about two years ago now, has that affected, uh, affected closings at all? Not really, but I, but I do want to mention, since you've asked that question, thank you very much, the forbearances, some of them are causing people to do home equities. And with the values that have been increasing so much, mm -hmm. they're able to get a little more cash out to pay back some of that. You know, the forbearance, it wasn't free money. You still have to pay it back. So now they're doing home equities to pay that back. To pay off the forbearance. Yes. And on a home equity loan, a lot of people don't realize in the, that you have to close at a title company, attorney's office, or mortgage company in order for that closing to happen on a home equity cash out. Really? Okay. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Um, anything else you'd like to share? Well, just keep Allegiance title in mind. If you have a transaction or anything we can do for you, our tag motto is your resource for results. And I appreciate the Depot team. They're a wonderful team with Keller Williams. So keep them in mind as you're looking for transactions as well. Thanks, Angie. Hey, um, all of Angie's contact information will, f will follow this video uh, just right before um, our standard information about our company. This is Steve Depoe with the Rose Realty Team. I'm going to bounce. Thanks.